Hey guys and girls, welcome your faces to a new series. This is Formula 1 23, so I'm going to be playing through the breaking point and exploring it all about that. So yeah, this is the new Formula 1 game. I'm a big Formula 1 fan, so this is right up my street and right up my alley. Hope you enjoy this gameplay. I do apologise if it's crappy and you guys don't enjoy it, but I thought I'd give you something a bit different from a Tarkov. Because I'm really struggling to find people to play with consistently on Tarkov at the moment. And I thought I'd just change it up a bit. Give you something of a bit of a different content. I will slowly be going into the career. And doing the um, single player career. And doing that. So we'll do the team and a driver's career eventually. But for now I think we'll start with the um, break point. And we'll start this one. But yeah. Anyway. Let's get into it. Get into this to start breaking point. Previously two. in breaking point. Aiden, please tell us how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. Nice to see the return of Aiden Jackson. Ackerman, how is that relationship coming along? Oh, what happened to Casper then? That's what I want to know. What happened to Casper? Oh, yeah, I forgot it was a feisty battle between me and Casper. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing Ooh, you. Ooh, Devon Butler, the prick. Babysitter. We all feel Absolute sorry for Absolute dickhead. You never stood a chance with him. This guy's a prick. I, I hate him. From Tristan Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, though. They're watched by Red Bull. You're getting too old. You want respect? You give respect. That's how it works. How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to. I can't him. remember, did we do it or not? So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Got the third eight. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. Go and get him, kid. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Butler's okay. Bruce D. Go perhaps. Yay, so we got rid of Devin Butler. Prick. So uh, oh, we're starting in May Miami. Starting in Miami. Ooh. Several races into the 2022 season. Let's see where it's taken us. What was it Ooh. like bringing a brand new team to the F1? Ooh, a brand new team. Ooh. You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official Connor race. Connor Sport, but, but. Alongside Ferrari. Butler Racing. McLaren, Mercedes. Seriously. Oh, fucking That's hell. Don't mean Devon's my team, mate. all about. You make it sound like a dream. Oh, that's going to be some bollocks if it is. If only. <laughs> See, actually, my teammate knows. When did you first get there. a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aiden Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through his paces quite like this. This is a team. Connor Ooh, Sport, this is going to be our first hand on. Season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Job 
Wow, that's asking way too much for my PC. Let's turn some things down. See if that changes thing, because oh Oh, there, you go. there you go, that's a bit smoother. So we need to finish the race. We're up behind Yuki right now. See you later, Yuki! Alonso is Schumacher, let's go. Back argy body with a lot though. This doesn't have the grip we do. There we go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get him. P11, let's try getting the points. Come on. Here we go, let's go on back of bottles. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna use some flashback, but I just make stupid mistakes like that, because it's my stupidity. Oh, 
Okay, you're in the top ten. Top ten, go for nine. Oh shit! Oh, way wide right out. Oh, I'll back for that boat. Oh, lock up, lock up, lock up, lock up. Hard pass, hard pass, hard pass. Tires are dropping. His tires are. Oh, another one. Little mini lock up. Ah, Lando is right on our ass. Oh, damn it. Well, that's fair. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, someone lost up. Oh, they're all scoped there. Five laps of fuel remaining. Oh no! What happened? What happened? Gone into the cutscene. Why have I gone into the cutscene? I'm losing power! Why am I losing power? Copy that, we see it. We're looking into it. Okay, I'm afraid you're gonna have to retire the car, please, Aiden. Retire the For car. God's sake. Uh, you're joking! I'm sorry, Aiden. Pull over now, please. Pull over now. Ugh. This is getting ridiculous. And that's agonizing for Jackson. Just a few laps left to go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sport's Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF put Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. <sighs> yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring home some points for the team. Good for him. It's not one thing, then it's yeah. another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? No, no. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say? A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data anytime you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told Ooh, you. Ooh, he is still a cut, It's though. not a setup issue. The problem is. Jackson. That was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, 
everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But I uh, guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> that's no secret. No. So that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. So Devon's still a prick then. Nothing new there. Oh, lovely. Aiden, hey, hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. And look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Akamon wouldn't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. Y you know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on for sure, but we're at well, this is definitely we'll get there. different. It's more like a, a road to the show kind of thing. Both on and off the track. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I like the new <laughs> yeah, stuff. Right, right. Yeah. Good luck with that. Ackerman's still a dick. So yeah, that's fun. I mean, not Ackerman. Dennis is still, Devin Butler's still a dick. So there is that. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, okay, now we may get make choices of the hey boss. boss. got a couple of minutes. Uh, fodder. We show the teams who's fodder. With this being the home circuit. Decline. Because Devon does not run the fucking team. Alright, let's go to the race. See what the news is. Quickly check the social. Oh, who's calling me now? Oh, Devon got away. Just going over those uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority. Oh, of course, he's already asking for priority. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. You get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course. Yeah, so, uh, pit priority, yeah? Alright, ciao. Oh, have what? Fuck face. Hmm. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right now with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They continue onwards. Yeah, I'll probably do two two chapters in every episode. As, well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car. And through the chicane we go. And now Ooh. Jackson sends them both off the track. Oh, I hit him. Oopsie. 
Ah, no, we don't. One of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make it. Oh, well, a what a shame. Mess that was. Devon's got a broken car. Beat Devon by the. Where did he even think it was going to go? Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. Alright. Oh, wow, we got that one right down to 80, so we need to go back to 30. Stuck up in these tyres. Out wide, see you later, Latifi. I think we race to the end now. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Come on, Albano. Start chasing us, girl. Tulsa Flair is out. Caution, caution. Green flag. 
Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. I've got two more to go. Two more to hunt down in four up. Three laps. Oh shit, there goes the wing! Come on, Lando, Jesus. I might ask if I might be here, but I've got a Good job, nice overtake. Top ten now, keep it up. I need to the car in front by about a second a lap. Gap to your teammate behind is 10.9 seconds. I got off the boss, come on. Let's see if I can get boss this UB. Come on, go on the back of you, kid. Have a go in here. Have a go up here. Oh, a little bit of a banging. Give him the space, give him the space, give him the space, let him run. I gave him the space on the exit. I gave him the space on that exit. There, you go, not moan about that. You always got to leave the space. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Big dub, big dubs in this episode. in Canada.
drama here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve today. Brands, what stood out for you? Well, it must be the Connor Sport moment between the two drivers there. Banging wheels, not giving each other room on track. It was entertaining, of course, but definitely for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, we enjoyed it, certainly. And Aidan Jackson, well, he'd have enjoyed the result. He did well to recover. He did do well to recover, but, you know, you never want to see two cars, if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other. It's rule number one. Don't hit your teammate. Given all the problems they've had this season, though, getting one car over the finish line, that's probably a big result for them today. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Right, let's see who's going to call. Right, let's see, let's see. Aiden, just, uh, just a heads up, we're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Look, Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how you run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no. I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. You do to put it to bed. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. Ooh, damn. Sure. See you at the debrief. Talk dirty to me, Andreo. Talk dirty to me. But yeah, anyway... I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, yeah, I'm going to call it there because, yeah, as I said, I'm going to try to do two of these chapters and episode and kind of go elaborate on it. So, yeah, from from this episode, basically, we're now at a, a new team. We're at Connor Sport Motors, Connor Sport um, Racing. Uh, we've now got Devin as our teammate, which is a bit shit. Casper's no longer in Formula One. He's obviously a friend of the guy, but yeah. That's pretty pretty hefty to take all in for the first episode. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Like Obviously, it's a bit new. I thought I'd try and change it up a bit, give you some fresh content rather than just the same old, same old, same old. But yeah, if you're enjoying this, smash that like button. Let me know if you can get five more likes on this. If you get five likes on this video, I will definitely drop some more career mode and we'll do some online racing on it. But yeah, anyway. I'm going to stop blabbering. Don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. It honestly really helps me out and it helps us get to the goal of 100 subscribers. We're so close. We're now on 92. We've only got eight more to go. So, yeah, guys, let's, let's break that record. But, yeah, anyway, I'm signing off for this evening. Wherever you are in the world, stay loved, stay safe. Peace.